Sorry, Macca, last week you spoke about the disappointment following the Hawks game. You must be so proud with the way the team turned it around against Carlton on the weekend. Yeah, look, we really lifted and, um, you know, credit to the playing group who were, you know, you know, not happy with their performance and they stepped up in a huge game against Carlton um, and we need to go to another level this week uh, going over to Perth to play Freya, so we can't wait to get over there. It must be one of the hugest challenges to travel all the way over to Perth and take on a team that's been one of the best all year. What are you expecting from the Dockers? Uh, look, we know what we're going to expect. We're going to expect a high pressure game, a lot of tackles, um, in, in your face pressure, uh, you know, which they bring every week. And, you know, we look forward to that because, you know, we hopefully will bring that also. And, um, you know, it's going to be a huge game. It's, you know, those 22 players going over there against, you know, 45,000 Freya fans. And, you know, we're really looking forward to the opportunity of, uh, you know, to try and get into a grand final. Well, you can't look too far back. The team that faced the two sides in the, in the last two finals last year were so much more experienced, I suppose, in comparison to the team that's going to be out in the park this week. How much trust do you have in these guys? Yeah, we've got full faith in you know the, the players that will run out there. Obviously, we've got a lot of injuries, but the guys that have come in have done their role beautifully and played really well. And I you know, saw Harry Cunningham on the weekend come in and Shane Biggs have you know, just slotted in nicely. So I'm sure they won't be overawed by the occasion. Um, you know, every, everyone will be nervous out there because you, you, know, you want to get off to a good start. And, um, so we're really looking forward to the challenge of playing Freya, who are, who are a really, really good team. There are also some players that would be considered as fringe players last year who've really stepped up, like Jesse White, Andreas Everett, Tom Mitchell, obviously he's with injury, but he stepped up this year. He must be really impressed with the way those guys have turned it around. Yeah, look, very impressed. You know, Jesse White's had a, a really, really good back half of the year. Um, he's playing good, consistent footy every week, which is great. And Andreas has, you know, has filled a really good role down in the half-back line. And, you know, with his run and his good kicking skills, he's been, you know, invaluable for us there. And, um, yeah, those young guys that have come through have, uh, have really gone up another level the uh, uh, this year which they've needed to. Focusing on the Dockers, one game this season which was a draw here at the SCG. Do you take anything out of that or do you look at the more recent games they've played? Yeah, probably look at the more recent games uh, you know, they've played. They had a, you know, a great battle with Geelong um, and, and you know, had a really good win so we'll probably look at that one and, um, and you know, really focus in on what their, you know, their strengths are and, and hopefully we can counter them. And, uh, but we know, you know they'll bring high pressure game and, and you know, that's what finals is about. How confident are you? Yeah, we're very confident. You know, we feel um, you know we're you know recovered pretty well after the game. Um, so we look forward to getting over there early, training on uh, Patterson's, and, and then come out Saturday, uh, uh, you know, raring to go.